Hello students, welcome to the first class of Data Structures Using C. This is a paper for 3rd semester BSc Computer Science and BCA students of Calicut University. This is an introduction class. First of all, we will see what is data. Data is a value or set of values. That is, it can be a value of a variable or a constant. Some of the examples are name, number, address, etc. For example, Roy, that is a name, 27, it is a number, that is data can be anything. It can be a name, a number, an alphabet or anything which may not be having any relation in between. Next is data item and it is a single unit of values, a set of values. And there are two types of data items, that is elementary data items and grouped data items. Elementary data items means we cannot divide these data items into sub-items. For example, mark. We cannot divide mark again. Age. That is also not divisible. The next one is grouped data item. Here we can divide the data items into sub-items. For example, address. We know that in address there may be house name, street name, pin code, city, etc. So we can divide it into a number of items. Next one is name. Na for name also we can divide into first name, middle name, last name, etc. That is we can divide the data into a number of sub-items. Now we will see some of the terms, common terms used in data structures. First one is data that we have seen it. Now, next term is field. A set of data items forms a field. And a set of fields form a record. And a set of field records form a file. That is the connection between these words. That is, a set of data items forms a field. A group of fields constitute a record and a set of records form a file. Now we will see some of the examples for all this. First one is field. Suppose we have a table and we have some fields that is name, number, class, age, marks. These are the details of a student. So all these are each column represents a field. Next one is record. Record means it is a collection of fields. That is the name, number, class, age and marks of one person or one student. That is a record. That is the details of one student. And file means it is a collection of records. That is a number of students will be there. For example, if there are 50 students in a class, there will be 50 records. Always remember that in a file, we store records which are related. That is, if there are 50 students in a class, all these come under a file. But there is a relationship in this, between these. That is, all these students belong to the same class. That is, a related group of records are called, is called a file. For each table, there will be a key or a field which uniquely identifies the records. That is called the primary key. For example, for a student, the register number, number may, be a, may be the primary key because each student will have a unique register number. No stud two students will have the same register number. That is the primary key. Now, there is another term which is used. It is entity. Entity means it is an object which has a set of properties. And these properties are called attributes. 
and we can assign values to these attributes. For example, employee. Employee is an entity. Employee will have a set of properties. For example, employee name may be there, designation is there, department may be there, or salary may be there. All these are the properties or attributes of an employee. Next one is entity set. Entity sets means entities with similar attributes. That is, the employees in an organization. All the employees will be having the same attributes. Name, department, designation, salary, etc. Next term is information. Data and information both are different. Information means meaningful data or processed data. That is, there is a meaning in that. For example, suppose we have three numbers, 5, 2 and 7. These are three numbers. There is no relationship in between these three numbers. 5 is data, 2 is another data and 7 is another data. But if we write it as 5 plus 2 equal to 7, then it becomes information. That is, we get an information get information from that. That is, 5 plus 2 equal to 7. That is, there is a meaning in that. That is called process data or meaningful data. Next, we will see some of the definitions of data structures. First definition is, a data structure is a group of data items which comes under one name. That is, we can store a number of data items under a common name. You must have studied arrays in C. That is, array is a data structure. In that, we can store a number of homogeneous data with the, using a single name. Another definition is, it is a particular way of storing and organizing data in a computer so that it can be used efficiently. That is, we can store the data in a computer in such a way that we can access these elements efficiently. Another definition is, it is the logical or mathematical model of a particular organization of data. That means, this also refers to the organization of data, how the data is organized in a computer so that we can retrieve the data or access the data efficiently and data structures are the building blocks of programs. Each and every program will contain some data structures. It may be an array, uh, a stack, a queue, a linked list or anything but it, all the most of the programs, almost all the programs will contain some data structures. And this is the introduction class. Thank you.